Right, if you are a homeowner or a building surveyor, this video might be of interest to you. It might just um, give you a bit of an idea of how I do things and perhaps you do things better. If you've got any tips for me, drop them in the comments below. But if you're a homeowner and you've got a leaking gutter, you've got a blocked drain or your water is not being dealt with from your roof or your drains or whatever, you get them fixed. If you're a building surveyor, make sure you check these things. Um, a hose pipe, run the taps, because you could imagine the problems that could occur with this, like as in this floor here. So basically I see lots of problems where floors have been repaired um, and there's other issues afterwards because it hasn't the actual cause hasn't been fixed. So as a minimum, everybody can check above ground to make sure the drainage is working properly. We're not talking just about CCTV surveys here, below ground, but above ground. At the end of the video, there's a load of rot and there's a load of um, woodworm. Um, you know, catastrophic. You know, this this is costing a lot of money to fix. I am going to do a part video, part two video, drying it all down. But um, see if you can name the decay. If you can't, it doesn't matter because we all know the main thing you have to do is remove the source of moisture, and then we can move forward with repair. So whether it's dry rot or wet rot or whatever, it doesn't really matter. As long as we can fix the issue, we can move forward. But thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe. Right, big drive today, hour and a half to get here. Problem with the floor, um, so you can see, got a lovely little bungalow here, and the floor's dropped, so suspected timber decay for whatever reason. So a lot of times floors get issues, you gotta think, why is this floor gone after X amount of years? Something's tipped the balance, possibly leaks. So as you can see, drain camera kit is out there, and we've got some kit here to have a little look, see what's going on. So I've, I've literally just got here. So straight away, you can see here, kitchen waste coming down, like there's no access to anything. I have to dig all that out, I'll see what's going on. And again, you've got bathroom waste coming down there. Visually, nothing appears to be blocked, but I just want to show you little things that I look out for. Like, I'm just trying to work out where these problems are. Straight away, coming down here, you can see, a lot of green stain in there. You've got a physical damp of course there, but it is wet at the base of the wall. You've got rainwater down pipe there. Um, you know, can't really see if anything's damaged on there yet. Let's get the camera on. But yeah, you don't know. You've got some subfloor ventilation. It actually looks a little bit high. Um, again, until we get in and have a quick looky, you've got another subfloor vent there. What we're going to do is, and there is a rainwater downpipe just around the corner there of the other property. Don't appear to be taking that much water, but you know, these are the sort of things we're looking for. So inside visually, what can we see? Visually, your washing machine is just about to fall over. So if I just try and put that on there carefully, you can see there's quite a bit of movement that floor. It's very spongy here. The vinyl normally just keeps these floors together. And again, we've got a wet room in here as well. Um, wet room floor, particularly here, is very, very spongy. Um, got a lot of mould and everything on the ceiling. There's lots of mould elsewhere in the property. But what you tend to find in a lot of properties, or I tend to find in a lot of properties, you just can't be blinded by the one problem. There's normally multiple issues. So probably going to be ventilation issues here, maybe heating issues, I don't know. Um, I would suspect definitely 100% drainage issues. You know, lots of times when I've seen problems with floors, there's always drain issues. So what I'm going to do now is flood, but to potentially try and flood all the drainage. So I'm going to literally leave everything running and we're going to go and do some leak, leak detection. Be back in a minute. Right. Water's been running roughly now about 10 minutes. Straight away, block drain. So this is off at opposite of the wet room. You can actually see here the ground is absolutely saturated. You can see there, the main sort of pathway is down towards this way. Adjacent to this floor, very, very spongy. So straight away we can see there's gonna be a problem, possible calls there. Um, straight away again this is the kitchen so kitchen waste here just get out of this and get focused you can actually see some of that actual 
water's running back down there. And you can see also that green stain there. It's literally running all the way down. So you can actually see really when they actually put this kitchen waste in, it never actually went back into the drain properly. It's just cleared out. So that just all sort of like needs redirecting. But again, we will do a drain survey on there just to see what's going on. But you can see straight away now, that's potentially two causes are two we haven't even checked the gutter in anything yet so onto the gutter in now see how we get on right another little tip here drain dye so you could actually say what's the point putting any drain dye in but what i like to do is is just seeing the path of the water and seeing exactly where it's going and sometimes what you can find with a sub floor it might actually not look any different um, when there is a lot of water getting in there do you know around there it might just look damp but what I tend to find is if you've got some drain dye um, especially nice like green stuff or blue or red stuff what have you it actually sort of like shows up on the surface or just just gives you that little bit of help so what we're trying to do is actually find the cause and long-term solution so straight away here now you can actually see where this sort of like water is actually going and obviously there's a lot running off down the side there there's a little bit coming off down there I don't know if you can just see it just down there as well so you know this does sort of like help out gives you a little bit of another inkling of what's going on this is the wet room as you can see it's flooded the drain's obviously blocked here as well you can see water now it's all the way running all over there underneath the sink coming back across the floor here it's literally just coming into the hallway now. So again, another leak. Fine. The simple flood test. Exactly what any homeowner could do. So, we've identified issues. We go there and there. And now, just flooding the guttering system. So you can actually see here, it's over spilling. And again, that floor is soft down there. So we've got the drain blockage. We've now got block guttering, but another little tip you're gonna find as well. <clears throat> you can see you've got a lot of green growth right now, moss growth. So it's typically when there's a lot of water right now, but you can see now, that's where it's over spilling now. And the block uh, guttering is all blocked up. And that's blocked up all the way along there. And there's no other down pipe down there until right at the other end, I think. If there is one, I haven't looked yet, but you can see it's all blocked up along there as well. And just along that bit there, there's ponding water there. But, little tip here. So, when you look at a roof and you see lots of moss on there, when that moss breaks down, it becomes like a silt. A bit like all of that in, in here and in there. What you tend to find is, when you put um, a drain camera down there, when there's been a lot of moss right now, it's got, especially soakaways, it blocks them up. A lot quicker near the other, um, the other place I've noted and also when you're getting that moss and the silt all breaking down in there that moss is like a sponge it really really absorbs water and it stops it from running and that's exactly what you can see here because that is the down pipe just there you can just see it and it stopped it and you will also find this in below ground drainage so whilst it might look really free running say like if in here but actually, in the drain below, below, below the ground, it could be a problem. So one way you can check this if you're a layperson, possibly, is you could literally, when it's hammering down with rain, you can just stand outside there of your umbrella and see how the ground is dealing around that area with the water. A bit like what I've shown just down there, basically, when we were running the water. You can actually see all around here was sodden, and you'd probably have something similar. But obviously, if there's breakages in the pipe below ground, you're not gonna really see that, but you could see the, the, you know, the actual water ponding. So straight away here now, you can actually see, this has been running there about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, and you can see there's literally hardly any water coming out of that hose pipe. It's just a hose pipe. It's not like, imagine torrential rain. So you can actually see now how much water must be getting into that subfloor void. Like, it must be an absolutely ridiculous amount. Every time the shower is used or what have you, all that water is coming across there, all that there, all that's running back down here. And also, just another little thing as well. So we've got the waste pipe here. Oh, 
it's actually spinning. So a solvent welded, you know, I'd have presumed in there, might be pushed for I don't know, but you know, you'd normally use solvent weld on that sort of stuff just to make sure they get knocked about. But you know, we're gonna get to that and have a little look at that in a minute, but you can see, you know, where I'm going about finding the pools and that is a lot of water coming off there. A lot of water. Right, just gonna walk back into the property now. You can see this is absolutely saturated here again. Very safe for that. And this is what we found. So, I've cut the floor up. And I need the washing machine. I'm just going to go into this hole a minute. <clears throat> Not very good if you cost a free brick. You can see now. Oh, my goodness, you can come back up and on that. Let's try and focus this in a minute. You can see we have got extensive... Oh, what here? And that is all the way around the basement. Um, it's probably good some floor boy. You can see it there. Just focus on that. So you can see like fair and light growth. You've also got metal pipe in the corner. It's condensating the sweating. There is a lot of active woodworm in there. You can actually see on the seat now, I don't know where you can see that. So yeah, you can see under the floor here. Some serious woodworm issues there. You've got another services entry point now. Um, and you can see it's a classic example here because you've got so much um, thrash from woodworm all the way across um, those timbers and all in the cobwebs. If you come up here, how right, clear this is. Try and turn that bright, turn that torch a minute. Right. Yeah, it is literally everywhere. And if you come across here, like, so you can get a bit of a focus on there. You see, it's literally dripping condensation everywhere. The floor's gone completely. You've got some fruit and bodies. That joist over there. But yeah, it's heavy infestation as well, very heavy woodworm infestation. You can also see the telltale cavity wall insulation. So you can see there's two types there, and that subfloor lint there. Doesn't look to be sleeved, which isn't going to help things. 